Hey, what's up, everybody? Just gonna do a pickups video here and uh, got some updates. First off, as a hint, hint to my pickup a little bit, I'm having some problems with my Microsoft Life Cam. I'm trying to do this video with it. You can see it looks freaking crazy orange. I'm using my Windows 7 box to do this, and it's totally screwing up. Uh, so I'm recording in 360p for this video. I know it's terrible, terrible quality, but I recorded this video once, 45 minute video. The sound, it was gone. Gone! <laughs> it's insane. Uh, this thing has so many problems. I try and use it with my iMac, but it becomes so laggy that it's just not, uh, it's not possible to, to watch the video. It's so bad. And I'll talk about that later. Uh, but I'm gonna show the computer off first here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't kill my sound when I show because that's what did it the first time. I'm going to show the computer off first here. and got some game pickups and some other miscellaneous pickups for anybody that's interested. If you're a game collector, um, you might be interested in what I show afterwards. So, finished off my water bottle, which I drank the whole way through the last video. But on to the computer. This is something that I, I've never found one of these locally. I've never found one of these locally, ever. I don't know if people just don't have enough money, they can't afford them, or if they just aren't interested, man, I, I don't know. Because I haven't seen any before, anywhere around my area, man. Um, just don't find anything like this around here. So it was a freaking score. In terms of price, it wasn't a huge score, but it was a decent deal for sure. Uh, but around here, man, it's a freaking score. So, uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I like Apple computers, I like iMacs. I got my first iMac in November of 2017, and I got my second one in April of 2018, which is a, a 2008 iMac 20 inch. And it's been great. It's been running pretty well. Uh, it's been smooth. Haven't really had a whole lot of problems with it. But, excuse me. Um, I just couldn't pass this freaking deal up, man. Got myself a late 2009 iMac. I know it's not a huge jump up from 2008, but it actually, in terms of specs, it is really freaking high. In terms of difference. I mean, this thing is way, way better than my old one in every way. And uh, I'll tell you guys some of the specs here. Um, luckily for me, when I got it, it was cleared off. All the, the guy deleted all of his data and everything. It totally wiped it fresh. Didn't have a password on it or anything, so I was able to just delete his account and make a new one and start fresh with all my stuff. Um, so he put... OS X Mavericks on this and again luckily for me he already has done all the updates it's already on version 10.9.5 all the security updates are done everything's updated except for iTunes which is nice um, because I'm not going to put my freaking credit card on it to download it from the app store because I just don't trust putting my credit card on anything online anymore after some of the security breaches that I've dealt with in the past in this situation now, I just don't trust it. But I don't have to worry about it, because luckily for me, all the updates were already applied to this machine, so no worry there. Sorry if my voice is, like, really, really bad in terms of, like, I have a lisp or whatever, because just today, for some reason, I got a lot of saliva in my mouth. I don't know why, so I apologize. If I sound weird, I'll try and talk loud so it doesn't, like, if I, yeah, you see what I mean? But, uh... In terms of processor here, it's got a 3.06 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. For memory, got, this thing takes up to 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, it has four RAM slots, only two of them are used right now, and it's got two 2 gig sticks in it, so it's got four gigabytes of RAM in it. For graphics, we got a NVIDIA GeForce 9400. 256 megabytes. Display has got a 21.5 inch screen. 
on the monitor. Uh, it's 1080p res resolution and um, great screen on it too. In terms of hard drive here, got a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's got a DB drive on the side of it too, so pretty cool. But so far, man, it's been freaking fast. I mean, Sometimes that fixes it. Didn't this time though, it's so orange. Terribly, terribly orange. Um, camera's not straight. But it's so freaking fast, man. It just flies through everything. It's awesome. Huge upgrade in terms of speed. I don't know how it would be if I put a newer OS on it because this iMac goes up to Mac OS High Sierra, which is not the current version, but it's the previous version. I'm not going to upgrade to Sierra or High Sierra, like I said, though, uh, because I don't want to put my credit card on it, and also because uh, I don't like the way it looks in comparison to Mavericks, and uh, I'm sure it'll be slower, and I've heard people have complained that uh, High Sierra has changed something with the file structure, and it's corrupted people's hard drives on these older iMacs. And if the hard drive gets screwed up on this thing, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to replace it because it's so hard to tinker with. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Mavericks is fine for me because most of my stuff is done within the web browser and Firefox is still supported. So for now, I'm definitely good on Mavericks here. Uh, but for accessories... Got a wireless keyboard here. This is the one to where if you get on the Apple Store, uh, you get these for a hundred bucks, which is freaking crazy, man. Just that's why I've been putting off getting an actual brand new computer from Apple, man. It's just everything about them is expensive. Got a Magic Mouse here. This is a trippy freaking mouse, man. Uh, it's just a standard la laser mouse, but it is invisible actually. There's no red glow from this. But the, the crazy thing about it is the fact that uh, there's no scroll wheel, there's no real button on it. It's just a flat surface that clicks. And if you want to scroll, you just slide your finger up and down. And if you're online, just swipe back and forth and you can switch tabs and whatnot. So I know it's so freaking orange, I'm sorry. In terms of the computer though, uh, I was going to say, Magic Trackpad, I don't have the Magic Trackpad yet, I know I've said I want to get that thing so many freaking times, I'm trying to fix this, I know I've said I want to get it so many freaking times, but it's just, every time I've had, there we go, every time I've had the money to get it, um, I've just spent it on other stuff. So I will be getting the Magic Trackpad actually later this month. So that is coming, and I might do a video on it. Uh, I like the I like the trackpads better than the mice myself. I have a MacBook, and it has the same style trackpad. All the gestures and everything are the same, and it's the same feel. It's just that it's not as big. The Magic one's bigger. And uh, I'm gonna get the first gen Magic trackpad because it matches the design of the, the keyboard here. How it has the tube in the back for the batteries. That way, it'll go flush together. And personally, I prefer having AA batteries to having an internal battery because you can't open it. So once the battery craps out, you got a freaking piece of crap. It's just totally useless. And also, they charge like 130 bucks, man, for the new the new trackpad. So you can get them for the first gen for much 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 cheaper on eBay. Who knows, man? I hit up this shop again. They might have it. <laughs> They may have it if I get lucky. Uh, but in terms of the computer, man, awesome freaking condition. There is only freaking thing on this thing is there's a tiny little nick on the base of the computer, but besides that, there's not a scratch on it, dude. It's it's excellent, excellent condition. So so far, man, I'm I'm just so freaking tired of Windows and PCs and everything. 
and I say Mac is just so much better. And I'm loving this one so far. It's it's just awesome. Um, and uh, one thing I wanted to go over real quick. My problems with Windows. One of them is this webcam situation and. War Putty, if you're watching this, I want to want you to leave a comment below about this because I'm having a bitch of a time trying to get all this stuff sorted out. Of course, I, I showed you that you can use the uh, the Life Cam on the iMac. For some reason, on my 2008 iMac and on this new one, if I try and use QuickTime to record, which is the only program that really accepts it, from what I found, I don't know how well it would work with debut. I don't know, but with QuickTime. Only my 2006 iMac recorded smooth video with that. These two, it's laggy. It's just choppy. File size is fine. It's just choppy. There's two settings though. There's one that's high and there's one that's maximum. High is choppy, but does not take up much room. Maximum is very smooth video. Very smooth video. But the file size, I timed it. 250 megabytes for a 30 second video. So if I did a 30 minute video, it would take up like 12 gigs, which I just cannot do that. I don't have the I don't have the room on my hard drive for that. I can't be making videos that big all the time. But on this iMac here, I thought about just using the camera that's built into this for doing my YouTube vids because it's got a an iSight camera. This one is not HD though, it's 480p. They didn't start going to the HD cams till the 2011 or 2012 iMacs, I don't remember. But so far here, what I've found is, just in terms of apps, I'm trying to find a record video with this iMac. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Photo Booth works fine for video. It works really great. Smooth video, good file size, good everything. I'm looking at it right now. The color is just so much better. None of that orange crap. Um, photo booth is fine, and like you said, because you got a Mac with a, you got an iMac with an HD cam, and it was limiting you to 480p. Since mine's 480p anyway, it does not hinder the video quality at all. So photo booth's pretty good so far. QuickTime is still, for some reason, with the built-in cam, just as laggy as it was with the live cam. Uh, I tried debut. Debut seems to work pretty well. I haven't messed with it too much. It's a little bit choppy at times, but it seems to work generally okay. I may try and I'll switch between the two of them here. We'll, we'll see. I will be doing, uh, if War Putty's interested, or if anybody else is interested, <laughs> I will be doing a few videos tomorrow, uh, which I guess would be the April 13th, because I'm recording this Friday night, the 12th. Uh, I'll be posting a, a couple vids that are just tests of my iMac webcam with some of the different programs and settings that I have. Uh, and I'll compare the quality and see what it's like. So, see how it looks on YouTube. So I'll be doing that for sure. Because I'm just so sick and tired of this life cam screwing with me. It's not that the, it's the lighting problem is terrible. It's the sound. If I move the camera around a lot, my sound gets really glitchy, it goes low pitched, and it skips around a lot, and it's missing segments. Then after a while it just cuts out the sound and there's no sound for the video. That's what happened to the, my first take of this video that was 45 minutes long. So, Pain in the ass, man. I'm, I'm trying to get this sorted out. Hopefully, I, I'm planning on just moving to this because I mean it's, it's a 480p webcam, but it's not that bad actually. It's pretty good quality. It's a trade-off. The quality might not be as good overall, but it's more smooth and it's less problematic. And the colors are better, so. And file size is better too, so. Uh, I will, I'm not gonna show it now. Here, hopefully this freaking thing does not screw with me too bad here as I try to show it. Gotta get the cord untangled here. It's a pain in the ass to do it. Of course, my freaking luck, it got wrapped around something. I hate this thing. I don't even know how the cord gets wrapped around so easily. It's freaking wild. We'll see if it cuts out, because this, this was the part that it cut out last time on the sound when I was showing the computer off. Try and 
you can see it's in pretty good shape. Here, turn down the brightness. Oh, shit. Freaking things driving me crazy. Seems pretty good. So here it is. It's not Mountain Lion, by the way. It kind of looks like it because I got the Mountain Lion, the, the wallpaper set for it. But you can see there's iBooks down there, which only came with Mavericks. Um, so far on programs, I don't have a whole lot on programs. Uh, I've tried a few emulators here. Uh, there's Nestopia. Nestopia. That's just an emulator for the original Nintendo, the NES. That seems to work pretty well with all my ROMs. It's accepting them all. Genesis Plus. That seems to work okay. It's been a bit glitchy for me, but overall it works decently. My other emulator is better, though, and I will show that. Uh, MAME OS X. This is kind of good, but also not good. It runs smoother than it does on Windows, but for all the arcade ROMs that I had for the arcade system I was going to build, they they don't, it doesn't accept them a lot of the time, so I don't know what's up with that. Here's the photo booth thing, I'll show that real quick. See, this thing is really freaking quick on opening programs and switching between them really fast. You can even just see how much better the lighting is already through this thing. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think I'm going to end up recording with is this photo booth thing, because it seems to work well. iTunes still has an older version of iTunes, which is good because I don't have that stupid freaking icon. Got Minecraft on it. I know nobody really gives a shit about Minecraft. I don't even really care about Minecraft that much, but I just thought I'd put it on there to test. I do like some of the older versions of Minecraft. It just got so freaking bloated and complicated after a while with random stuff that doesn't matter. Uh, I might show that later off because it runs really freaking smooth. Got some different freeware games that I've tried. Here's this. Nexu is, Nexus, is, I don't know, but it runs this game like a bat out of freaking now. Welcome to Nexus. See, man, it's just really freaking smooth, dude. This game runs perfectly on this thing. I know the mic's loud, I'm sorry. This thing runs perfect on this thing. Not, uh, I don't see any glitching. There's no frames lost. It's really smooth. All the settings are on their maximum. Everything is all set. There's no glitching, no anything. It runs this game absolutely awesome. This game is basically like a, like a Quake clone. It's pretty much just a rip off a of Quake. Kind of a cool game though. I've been playing it a little bit here, just testing this thing out, and it runs freaking awesome. So. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm getting blown in the air, and it, it's really freaking smooth. There's not an FPS counter, but it runs great. So That's that game there. It's a free game. I did try this game on my old iMac and it did not run nearly as freaking smooth. It was terrible running actually. So there you go. Got killed, so you know it works. <laughs> What's that game? Uh, get the mouse back here. Cable's getting caught. Right, here's that. Kega Fusion, this is a, there's Firefox, there's Kega Fusion, this is a Genesis emulator as well, and this one works really well. I'll show the game here. I showed the Ninja Gaiden uh, thing, which is the, the, the that one song. I'll show another game here. It's Thunder Force 3. Man, it's just really freaking good on this one. This emulator is probably the best one I've found for OS X so far. 
and we'll show Minecraft real quick just for the hell of it. Uh, I'm going to show an older version of it. The newer version plays just fine too. I've tried a bunch of different versions. They all run pretty well. Uh, and most of my computers actually run this game like shit, so I was pretty impressed that this one ran it well. Let me put it in full screen because it runs like crap in windowed mode and it's hard to see. Generate new level. Theme. Hell. Normal level. Normal world. Normal everything. So we're going to freaking hell. Uh, you can see how bright. <laughs> but man, like I say, there's the counter. It's still doing all the chunk updates. Most of my other computers run this game like 50 or 15 frames. Even with the frame updates, man, we're getting around 30. Um... Uh, in my previous video it was around 40. It seems to be either 30 or 40. It doesn't change. For, there we go. It's around 40 now once it's done updating all the chunks and whatnot. It's around 40. So. Uh, well, there you go. I'm on freaking fire. I'm in lava. So there you go. I gotta quit out of that now. Get out of Minecraft here. Says it crashed. <laughs> yeah, in terms of programs, that's about it. Don't have a whole lot on this thing. If you guys got any recommendations of programs for this thing, let me know because I want to try some different things, whether they're games or just random apps. Uh, for War Putty, uh, there's that live wallpaper app I think you showed in a video on your iMac. They deleted that. You can't get that app anymore. I don't know if you can like upload it or something, or if it's even possible to do that. I don't. I can't find it anywhere. But I was looking at that. I'm getting that. It's got iPhoto on it still, which is cool because you can't download that anymore. There's that debut program, which so this one works pretty decent as well for doing the the recordings, man. I tried this uh, on my 2006 iMac and it came up with some crap about it being a demo mode and it said thanks for trying it. Um, we'll be trying this as well. So, there you guys go. 2009 iMac, freaking awesome. So far. Don't have a whole lot on it yet, but so far, it's been freaking I'm trying, to get the, I'm trying to get the camera back in the position that I had it before having any luck in doing that. Shit, let me see here. And now I got the, whatever, I'll just leave it the way that it is. I don't want to screw with it right now because it'll knock out the freaking thing. Okay, I know there's that in the frame, but I'm, it just, it's so screwy right now, like the, the lighting got totally screwed, so I'll just leave it the way it is. And now to piss off anybody that's bought a used Mac recently, <laughs> Or even just a Mac in general, because if you get on Apple's site, the the bare bones iMac, no memory upgrades, no anything, you're gonna be spending twelve hundred for base model. I gotta say, it's really freaking hot in here tonight. I'm gonna uh, plug my fan in and turn it on. Plus, there's a lot of shit going on in the background. I don't want to end my video. Sorry about this. But yeah, man, the Apple computers are so freaking expensive. And I mean, I know mine is a, it's a late 2009. I'll point the camera or the, the fan this way so it's not as loud on video. Hopefully this will kind of block some of that sound. I do also have the original box for this iMac. It just is somewhere else and I'm not going to bother. It's so freaking big, I don't know how I'd fit it in here. But I got this. I mean, I'm, I'm off topic. <laughs> uh, the 2009 IMAX usually go for between 160 and 100 and 250. On average, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little less. Got this one though. 100, baseline 100. It's not an excellent deal, but it's I saved a good bit of money. I honestly probably wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. Because I just don't have a lot of money right now. So, unfortunately, I got a shit out of luck. Let me try it. And you can see the DVD drive and the SD card slot there. 
Oh man, it's just making it. There we go. Just making it more orange. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, yeah, man. But for a hundred bucks, man, that's a steal, especially around here, because nobody freaking has these around here. And my friend, uh, he's had his for like ten years. So they last quite a while. I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon, unless I find a really good freaking deal like this one again. So far, this is super fast, super smooth. Everything about it's great so far. Uh, so I don't see a reason to upgrade. Uh, maybe to get the 720p webcam, but that's about it. But I wouldn't want to buy a whole new computer for that. It's been a pain in the ass enough trying to move all my stuff over. The 2008 iMac, it's not completely irrelevant now. I still will be using it quite a bit because a lot of my programs uh, are only supported on that iMac and not this one. And just, I there's some things about it that I will still be using it for. So this one's not a complete main system, but it's my, my iMac now, so. <laughs> really looking forward to using this more. And like I said, tomorrow I will have some videos testing out the webcam on it if you guys are interested in watching those. And, I just want to see how it looks, really. Um, I don't know if I still got sound on this vid or not. I probably don't. <laughs> but so that's it for the computer, basically. Um, if you don't care about the game pickups and the other pickups, uh, my, looks like my light went out because this freaking thing, so bad. If you don't care about the game pickups or any of the other stuff, you can leave now. But if you are interested in the game pickups, I'll get onto them now. First off, gotta. Xbox 360 controller, just a standard black one that come with a, that came with the Slim. Uh, it's in decent shape. Got a few scratches on the back, but overall decent shape. I lost my one black controller along the line, so I got this as a replacement. So 360 controller. Got a few retro games here. Found these recently. Uh, Virtual Fighter 2 for the Genesis. I I have this game already, but the label is fucking beat up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm tired, so I'm swearing a bit more. Um, but the label on this is in pretty good shape overall. So, Virtual Fighter 2 for the Genesis, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. If you have a Sega 32X or a CD, I forget which one it's on, but the Virtual Fighter 2, I think it's 32X, is much better. But there you go. So, Virtual Fighter 2 for Genesis. Got Sonic Hedgehog, not for resale version. Label is beat to hell, but the gameplay is fine. So, then I got a NES game here. I got the most valuable NES game ever, guys. Jeopardy. <laughs> this game, a dollar. A freaking dollar. <laughs> it's in decent shape overall. I just wanted to add it to the collection. It works, it plays great, but it's got some like crayon on it right there. Some blue crayon, and there's a little bit of orange too. So, it's Jeopardy for the NES. Now, this is not a pickup necessarily, this is something that I've had for a long time. Like, See if I got any drink in this one. Well, I just found this again recently and thought I'd show it off for any of my newer subs or newer people. Sega Master System here. This is the first generation Master System. This is the earliest revision of it that has the, the maze game built into it. It's in decent shape overall. It's got some scuffs on it. Uh, and some of the ports had, a lot of this actually had problems, and in opening up once, I did do some damage. <laughs> uh, I've done a few videos on this, this is the one that I modded. Didn't I didn't necessarily mod, I just replaced parts in it that were bad. Like I, I tried to do some modification back here, and I ended up frying the lead, uh, so I replaced the lead. After a few months it started to get dim. Put a new one in, now it's half dim already. So I'm gonna have to get on Council 5, see if Council 5 has any kits for it or not. I don't know if they have that or not, but 
figure Council 5 is the best place to go. But I'm getting pissed off with the, the leads for this thing. They keep on dying on me. I might do that video that I said I would do about opening this up, showing how to open it up uh, when I do replace the leads. But yeah. Still has the little door on the bottom of it. Most of them don't have that nowadays on eBay or wherever you get them from. So that's my master system. I have a decent master system collection. I actually, if you guys want me to show it off in a video, I will. I just leave a comment below. I'll show off my master system collection. Sorry about my voice, like I said. Um, I have all of my games are boxed. All of them are boxed. Every single one. Some of them are missing the manual, though. But I have a few rarities. I have Gavellius in box. I have Fantasy Star Complete in box. Great shape. Very good shape. That's a pretty rare one right there. So. Might do a video on that if people request it. So. Master System. Might have showed this one in a previous video, but I don't know because it's been a while since I did a pickup video here. But got myself Jet Black GameCube for fifteen dollars. It did come with all the cables and everything. I just didn't get them out. Decent shape overall. It's dusty because it's been sitting in here for a while. Uh, if I cleaned it off, it would look better. But overall, it's in decent shape for fifteen bucks. It's not bad though. Um, yeah, plays games fine. Everything about it's fine. Um, it's a DOL or DOL 101, so it does not have the component port. However, it does still have all of the doors on the bottom of it. You can see there. So, yep, just a jet black GameCube. Uh, was never really interested in getting a GameCube because of the fact that I might do a video on this too if people ask for it. I got a homebrew Wii or a modded Wii, so I might do a video on that if people want me to. Um, but I got that modded Wii. I got all kinds of councils on that, man. I don't really need any of these systems because I got all kinds of councils on the Wii. Uh, and my Wii is one of the ones that can play GameCube games, actually. It's right over here, so I can just rip out the card for GameCube. So I mainly just play GameCube games on my Wii, whether they're downloaded or on disc. So I really don't need that, but it was at a good price, so I snagged it. But yeah. Got a few games with it. I got two games with it. Um, show these off real quick. I'm sorry, my voice is getting really bad right now. Got The Sims 2 Pets. Came with the system. So did the other one. Um, but Sims 2 Pets, I don't know if I'll ever play this game or not. I might pop it in just to see if it works or not. Uh, can be a cat hoarder in the game. Get addicted to the smell of cat litter. <laughs> but good shape overall for the case and whatnot. No sticker residue or anything. So Sims 2 Pets. Now this is an awesome freaking game. I used to play this when I was young on the PS2, but got ATV Quad Power Racing 2. And good shape too on the box and everything. And this still has a card in it for a shop. Has the manual and disc in great shape. This is an excellent game. So We've got some games for it. And that does it for my, my game pickups, so got one more pickup to show real quick. Uh, not a game pickup, not anything tech. I might do a separate video on these, on items that relate to this because it's kind of interesting here. Uh, this is a greenway, yep. Move the chair. I got a Carhartt jacket put it on. This is from 
I'd say the early 90s. Definitely 90s, but I'd say early 90s. It's in decent shape. It was used at work and outside a lot. So it has some stains, but it's not, no tears, no rips, no anything like that. Um, so, yep. Fits me all right. I'm pretty skinny. I always have been. Uh, pretty comfortable, but the arms, really freaking stiff leather. I don't know if it's going to show, but really freaking stiff leather. If my arms were a bit bigger, it would probably help, but it's just really freaking stiff. Um, but yeah, I might wear it a bit more often, but it, it's nice. Just the arms are super freaking stiff. So, yep. Yeah, you can see. Carhartt logo. Everything on it. It's kind of warm here, like I said, so take that off. But that was uh, my grandfather's. He passed away in beginning of January 2014, man. Uh, ended up, he had, I don't know if it was diabetes that did this or his cancer, because he had colon cancer, which he was hiding from us for the longest time. But um, he ended up about 15 years before he died. He had a complication or something in his left leg to where they had to cut his leg off. So for the last 15 years of his life, he was in a wheelchair without a left leg. Uh, but he was still going along pretty fine up until around Christmas time of 2013 when he ended up having some problems with his right leg, a lot of pain in his leg. Uh, turns out that whatever was in his left leg had spread to the right leg. So he ended up having to get it chopped off too. Um, and during the surgery, he ended up just dying from shock. So passed away. He left some stuff to me and my dad. Uh, he was a freaking hoarder. <laughs> my dad is too, and that's probably where I get it from. Uh, that's where I get a lot of things from, honestly, but including the fact that I probably won't have hair for very long. Yeah, he left a few things to me and my dad. Uh, I will show, I think I'm going to do a video showing the stuff that he left to me, all of it. I've shown some of it in video before, but he did leave me some pretty cool stuff. Um, and that Carhartt was one of them. He wore that at work in the 90s. So, pretty cool jacket. I'm sure it fit him better, but... Yeah, I say, going through his stuff, his basement was a freaking mess. It was a nightmare would have killed us off if we were sick or anything like that. Just a mess going through that place. He had so much freaking stuff and a lot of it was just worthless or broken stuff that he just didn't throw away. I mean, I'm... He was just a pack rat. I'm, I'm kind of similar, but I'm not nearly as bad as he was. He just threw stuff everywhere. With me, it's a bit more organized. At least it's on furniture and whatnot for the most part. So, yeah. Yeah, man, I, I'll be doing some more videos soon on that life cam. Uh, not life cam, the webcam on my iMac. Just some di different videos like that. I'm getting really tired now. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up pretty much. But I haven't been feeling good recently. I really have not been feeling good. I got my own freaking health problems relating to surgeries. Uh, I'm disabled. People know that I'm disabled because I, I was born with Dwayne Syndrome, which is basically to wear... You look at my eyes, they're, they're not straight. I'm looking straight at the camera right now. They're not straight. Basically, the muscles in my eyes are not wired correctly. When I was born, I was extremely cross-eyed. Like, I would not have been able to drive or anything. I had two surgeries on it, though, and they did help for sure. They definitely helped correct the issue, but not entirely. Uh, my muscles, I still can't move my eyes a whole lot. You can see some movement, but for me, I got to turn my head, especially this way. I got to turn my head. I can look, excuse me, I can look this way decently, but this way I got to turn my head. 
uh, but recently they told me after my last surgery that it's possible that this eye will start to drift upwards on its own and I won't be able to control it anymore. And that's starting to happen, I'm pretty sure of it, because I've been getting a lot of headaches recently. I've noticed it's a bit more, when I look straight, this eye is looking upwards more. But I can't get another surgery on it. I mean, I, I have the insurance to cover it. It's just that they cannot perform more surgery. They've done what they can do already. So I'm gonna have to find some sort of solution to it. <laughs> So, it's given me a lot of eye strain and a lot of headaches and just been really killing me lately. That's why I haven't been doing many quality videos recently. Not many videos at all. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be doing videos in the future though. Just I'll try and still pump out videos, but I'm just feeling like, like garbage recently. <sighs> Speaking of feeling like garbage, I'm pretty freaking tired, so I'm going to end this video off and try and get it up quick so catch you guys later uh, War Putty leave a comment if you got anything to say any programs any tips on the webcam just thoughts uh, anybody else same thing so any help you can give me on this iMac or programs for it or with the webcam situation be much appreciated so catch you guys later